the beautiful lakes, the flowing rivers, the majestic oceans of the world. But if you add them all together, it is the pond that is the most beautiful, exotic, and wonderful body of water of all. In the pond we are always seeking life, and the rare form of life we find is the giant flatworm. Ah, but this one has passed away. So sad. But later, Maurice finds a rare living specimen as it glides effortlessly through the water, searching for its family. Where have they gone? We do not know. But this is the circle of life that is the pond. Even in the average pond we can find the feather bird. It is a bird that consists of just one feather. The feather bird will hide in the grasses looking for other feathers but sometimes it is very disappointed another feather may just be a feather and not a feather bird what is this what is this is this another mate for the feather bird ah no it is not it is a piece of dried grass. The feather bird will now go to sleep as it must rest. Being only one feather, it is very difficult to fly. And yet life in Zupan continues without the feather bird and its lonely cry. Along the edge of the pond, you will find many sticks. The observant eye will also notice the stick fish. It is like a stick, but it is a fish. Our scientist Caro made many interesting observations about the stick fish. Carl, I noticed that the stick fish is coming towards you. What is uh, this behavior? Well, sometimes the stickfish actually comes near you like an attack, but it's actually harmless. I see. The stickfish actually has no teeth at all, and it feeds off plankton at the bottom of the pond. I feel that the stickfish is following me, Carl. Is this safe? Is it have a poison? No, the stickfish is not venomous. But it is getting awfully close to me. I, I no. don't understand. But. No, I do not know. I don't know either why the stickfish is coming so close. As well, usually, the faster I move, the more the stickfish is following me. This is very the, unnerving. Yes, but the stickfish. <laughs> <laughs> the ah. stickfish is a sensitive form of life. You should cross it. Back. <laughs> don't do that. Uh, alas, the stickfish is now motionless. The stickfish thought you were a mate. Ah, well, this is much better for the photography, right? Uh, and that you, young man, are an amateur botanist? Yes. And you were the first to find the Schnitzelbüschen? Yes. Uh, was this the first uh, Schnitzelbüschen, I understand, that has been found in this continent? Uh, well, it's not that hard to find it. It is, um, but it is very elusive. It, it, it is rare, yes. yes. Uh, may I ask you a question? What? Were you at any time afraid for your life? No. 
You, uh, it's extremely poisonous. Oh, I did not know that. Uh, I just uh, found the shell. Did you not look it up on Wikipedia, the schnooze bosom? Well, I had no time. I just found it. Hey, excuse me, did you did you take the shell from the schnitzel bosom? It's very rare. Why do you have yes. this? Well, I I picked it up and then... Did you kill it? No! The tongue ah. came out. This is, come with me. Uh, yes. Come with me. I think... We must talk to the assorties. I think they're over here. <laughs> well, hello there. My name is Jones and... Well, I'm on the trail of the elusive clamshell should be around here somewhere the clamshell is actually a fish it's actually a fish and also likes to hide under and next to rocks I don't think it has a it also looks a little bit tan brown and oh there's one I don't think there's anything inside because they usually move when you touch them. Here. This is it. Oh, found a clamshell. It was actually a shell of a clamshell, but I found one. Oh, look, there's another one. Huh. This could be a different species of clamshell. Well. You'll never know in the pond. Pond.